Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Five Summers back. It's been a little while since I done a video. Uh, hope y'all didn't think I forgot about you. <laughs> Just uh, had to put a little, take a little hiatus on my collecting for a while uh, due to lack of funds, I guess you call it. <laughs> but the bills got to get paid, don't they? Uh, yeah, this is just another quick video, a uh, uh, little addition to my budget buoy collection. And this one is, a, I'm not sure if this Shrade makes old timer or Uncle Henry. I think it's Uncle Henry, but I won't swear to it. Anyway, this is an old timer buoy. And it's shaped after one of the original, like like the Jim buoy. I think this is, I think this is the blade style that he that made his claim to fame or whatever the regular style and i had never seen i've seen a lot of old timers and stuff like that but not with the, the regular you know the the classical type buoy blade like this and i liked it and it's got that saw back delrin i think that's what they call it <laughs> i think it's called a saw back delrin handle so if i can get up on it you can see the little grooves in it I don't know if it's going to pick that up right there, maybe. So it's got some ridges there. They're pretty comfortable. And it's got the old-timer badge on it right there. And I think the model number might be here. Now it just says Shrade. So, well, we know now who makes it. <laughs> so it is Shrade that makes old-timer. Uh, so that, that's the model number, I think. SCPROM-16-31 and uh, she came pretty sharp uh, not bad I mean I it probably needs a strop a strop wouldn't hurt it she's got a little bite to her good sharp point uh, I'm not sure let's see I wrote down some things this is 15 inches 15 and a half inches overall uh, it's got a 10 inch blade it's a hollow obviously a hollow grind with a swedge on top brass guard brass pivot I and mean, brass pins full tank construction looks like it has a yeah kind of a swell in the center it's a really comfortable handle got your big lanyard hole which is nice haven't put a lanyard in it, obviously, yet. Uh, blade still is 7CR17. And weight is 1.25 pounds, 1 and a quarter pounds. So it's well balanced. I mean, it's, you know, it feels perfectly balanced. It's lighter than it looks, too. And it's, I mean, you can get some quick action on that. It'd be a good fighting knife, I'll tell you that, because this is perfectly balanced and it's, now the blade still's not too thick, but it's just right to me. I'm sure it'd do all right for survival too. But I just liked it, you know. Brass guard, stainless steel, nice uh, tough handle. What, what more could you ask? We're really in a buoy. Good looking knife. I don't know if you can see that handle, it's kind of a two tone black and. Almost like a stag color to it. But I like it. And yeah, I just wanted to show that off. It's got a pretty nice nylon sheath. There's a little bit of flex, not much. It's pretty pretty stiff. It's got rivet construction. Multiple rivets. Uh nice big belt loop. It's even got a you know snap closure. I like it. And these are only going for like thirty dollars on Amazon. I think it's where I found it. I saw it in some magazine first, I think, and then I thought, well, I didn't know they made like regular buoys. So I was glad to get this. And like I said, thirty dollars. It's not bad for for this knife. But uh, yeah, it's a good knife. Glad I got it. And I'm glad to be back on YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's see, I've got a couple more 
So I've got a folding a flipper folder coming up, and then I've got a uh, heavy duty machete that I'll be doing a video on soon. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm back. So uh, good to be back with y'all. I uh, hope you like this video. I hope you like this knife. If you like it, try to get one. I don't know how long they're going. I guess they're okay. You know, on stock, but uh, I haven't seen anything to the contrary. But anyway, have a good weekend. Uh, warm weather's back if you're in the south. <laughs> it was like 65 today here, so. So I guess life's okay. Y'all have a good night and a good week. Take care.